the biggest advantage of this cooler is that it's really, really slim, and also the yeah the design of the heatsink is asymmetric. As you can see, there's less uh, less space than here, and therefore you get more uh, more space to the to the ramps, as you can see, and it's it's absolutely no problem to assemble a 20. 5 mm fan on the cooler. So the cooler comes with the 140 mm fan, also a rubber fan, and therefore, yeah, like already mentioned, no vibrations could go to the heatsink. Example, not the final product because the finish is not really good but we did some tests and we compare it with the Noctua NHD 14 and also the general uh, right, uh, silver arrow and the performance up to 180 watts was really similar but if you go upper then the performance becomes more and more better the reason for this is because of the heat pipes the cooler has eight uh, six millimeter heat pipes um, also, the two fin packages are soldered to the to the heat pipes, and a big full copper base to to split the heat. Yeah, uh, about the fan. The cooler comes with two fans: one uh, 140 millimeter fan and one 120 mm fan also the rubber fans to make sure that the noise is on a very low level yeah uh, the fourth new product is a high-end uh, uh, GPU cooler it's called Peter um, yeah Peter is, is uh, multiple on every high-end graphic card like the GTX uh, 580 or the 480 um, we tested the cooler in our lab and the performance was, was really, really good. We compared it to the Thermalright Shaman and at few mark under 100% load, um, the result of the Thermalright Shaman was around uh, 62 degrees and with the Peter we get uh, 54 degrees. So, um, yeah, the temperature goes really down. Um, yeah, about the details of the cooler. So if you have a look on, on the base, uh, at the moment it seems that there are only six heat pipes which are in the U shape through the base plate. But in the end there are two separate parts. Uh, each part has six heat pipes um, and therefore you have 12 heat pipes and this is uh, yeah, also necessary for the high-end graphic cards to get a good result. So, um, you mentioned that this is for NVIDIA, but is there AMD compatibility as well? Yes, of course. It's also uh, compatible to, to the all current uh, ATE graphic cards. Therefore, we also include um, the VRAM cooler and also include uh, some uh, memory coolers. Cooler. Because of the, of the weight, it, it was not possible to, to mount the fans directly on the heatsink. Therefore, we make the decision to, to add a separate bracket with a strong uh, CNC machine part. This part helps you that the, that the bar is really stable and that no weight is on the graphic card. I, I will show you. take another expansion slot on the uh, case? So, uh, in this configuration you need uh, four slots. Four slots, but it's still possible to, to do the SLI configuration because um, it, you have the possibility to mount the fence on this side or on this side. As you can see, there are also holes, mounting holes. And if, if you have two graphic cards, just put the fan on, like this. 
So, will this come uh, as, a, as an entire package with the uh, with the sink? This whole, whole yes, package? yes, yes. Uh, everything is included, but no fans. So you can choose your own fans. More flexibility.